Hello everyone and welcome to day 8 of our Vlogmas series where I'm sharing one recipe every day leading up to Christmas day. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, you can check them out on my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make the simple yet appealing apple cinnamon waffles. To make this, start by gathering all your ingredients. Next, peel the apple. I'm using a tart apple, um, the Granny Smith apple, but you can use any variety of apple you prefer. Peel the apple using a potato or apple peeler and then we're going to grate it. I'm grating it because it's easier to blend into the waffle mixture but if you want to chop it into small pieces you can also do that. Set that aside and then to a clean bowl add some buttermilk, oil or you can use melted butter, the sugar and one egg. Add the grated apple and then we're going to give this a good mix. You can use as much apple as you like. I only used one but you can definitely increase that quantity. After mixing, add the dry ingredient. So add the cinnamon powder, some all-purpose flour, baking powder and baking soda to give it a good rise and salt. Mix to combine the dry and the wet ingredients. Once it's combined, stop mixing. We don't want to over mix our butter so the waffles don't come out tough. Next, preheat your waffle iron and then add a scoop of the butter. If the waffle iron isn't non-stick, spray with non-stick spray or rub with butter before adding the waffle butter. Cover and allow to cook for about 2 to 5 minutes depending on the size of your waffle iron. You know it's ready when the steam from the waffle iron either reduces or stops. Repeat the process with the remaining butter until it's finished. While you're preparing the other waffles, make sure you save the already prepared waffles on a wire rack so it doesn't become soggy. When it's done, serve hot or warm with some butter, maple syrup or pancake syrup. You can also add some fresh apple slices or top with your favorite fruits. Add some eggs to the side, fry some bacons or sausages to make it a complete meal. And that's how you make your apple cinnamon waffles. They're really good. The whole family will enjoy it. That's it for day 8. Do let me know if you have any questions about this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for subscribing and come back tomorrow for a brand new recipe. Bye for now.